Hi guys, Mr. Yeager here, and welcome back to Ostfront. In the last episode, we murderized a bunch of dudes with the quad mounts, and also unlocked some new tanks in the form of the Sherman M4 Late, as well as the M4 105, which I'm really, really keen on. And we're about to get straight into the next action, which I kind of, I, I was planning on holding off recording for another, for a session. Because I don't want to go too crazy with the bulk recordings in this particular series. Ish. <laughs> but uh, I couldn't help it. and re I couldn't resist it. And I'm like, you know what? Ba-boom. Let's, uh, let's have our fight on Utah Beach. I'm curious. I want to see what this map looks like. Because we have to defend it. Now, I imagine it's probably going to be a horizontal defense. Which... Makes sense, but it's also kind of irritating. Or it's a proper defense where we're defending towards the land and we've only just arrived at the sea. That would be kind of cool. But it would also be kind of confusing because it's like, yeah, while we're winning on some fronts, this front apparently we're losing completely on. That or we could sort of say, congratulations, we've just taken, you know, we've just invaded and we're now reclaiming part of the Utah beachhead. But... At the same time, it's it's puzzling. Let's say that at least. Anyway, I'll see you guys when we arrive on scene. And we return. And we have got ourselves a horizontal defense. Because of course we do. Anyway. Sherman is going to move over to here. We've got a few choke holds, so the good news is that Ivan is going to have to come through. Well, Ivan could be coming through on any particular point. I'm going to just quickly grab these two and tell them to get on. And I'm going to very carefully watch them. So we've got one defense area which definitely we could put a quad mount on. So if you want to make your way, your merry way across there, try not to lose the sodding thing. And I need you to then move over to... I'll be honest with you, not sure about this location. You either want to do a defensive position to the side, perhaps. Maybe. Not sure. Right. Ready to go, sir. Yes, anyway, Sherman support will be on station. slightly further forward and then we're going to introduce the squads and the 75 mil guns right you boys hop in you boys hop in uh, sanitator eins sanitator zwei Fine. Just Ready to roll, sir. We'll grab you. Go to the left, then, because you're already in a position. What are you doing? There's a road immediately to your right. You muppet. Understood, sir. I'm just gonna drive. The dead horse there already. I'm suspecting that was you. Hey, American, you want to get out the road? Thank you. Look, I'm going by foxhole logy rules. If you're on the road and I run you over, it's not my fault. No problem, sir. Right. Ready to roll. If you want to roll over to there. Any order, sir? Roll order. out the quad mount. We'll have four yes, barrels sir. of fun. We're ready. Roll out the quad mount. We'll put Ivan on the run. Yes. Right. Oh, Sherman. There's a little bit faster deployment time, which is good. I'll pop the quad mount over here, put the, put the truck behind into the courtyard. Oh, God. It's such a bad location. Oh, God. Stop. 
Right. Drop it. We'll roll forwards. You boys set up defenses. Apparently my shit has just blown up some more of their stuff. Which of course is what happened. Right, you boys pop out the side. Sherman taking its time to arrive. It's fine. Right. I'm ready. Infantry, I want you to uh, come on. Well, set up a trench over there. Anti-infantry, I want you to put some landmines. Fuck's sake! I'm ready. Always ready. I really wish there was a button just for mining. Like, when I say a button, I mean a hotkey. Right, one of you boys. Any orders, sir? There we go. You Muppets, go do that. Ready to roll, sir. Oh, shit. Right. Suggest you probably want to build like a trench that way. Yes, sir. Mm. Probably put a mine over there. What are your orders, sir? Ready, sir. Aye, sir. Fuck's sake, I told you to go fucking place mines there. Right. Yes, sir. Here you go. Ready, sir. We're ready. Armor ready. Mm, ice. Hi, sir. How are you guys doing on the left? You guys are all good? Go, Fantastic. Make your way back. Gonna have you boys set up another trench along here to the left. Ready to go, Sherman, we'll set up defenses over here. Ready, sir. Medic, need you to take cover inside the building. Ready to roll, sir. You Ready set to up roll, over sir. here. You, I'm gonna have you set up behind Ready over go, here. Sir. Sherman, gets us set up over there. Ugh. Set up. Armor ready. Ready to roll, sir. Just gonna clear this trench line out. Oh boy. Run. Looks like the 75 mil, 76 mil has done its job. Right, make your way down to the side. Looks like tanks are going to become a thing. Get your asses over there as soon as you can. Beauty. Oh, if that detonates, please detonate. A shame. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so they come down that road. Hi, sir. Depending on the activity of the enemy. Oh, God. Run. You boys head over there. I might re relocate the 105 to this position. 
just so he can provide the necessary support. Though the 75 mil gun on the side is going to do wonders. Yeah, this is a good defensive position. Like, this area I feel more confident in defending in than the other one. Let's put it that way. Come on, 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 come on. Hurry the fuck up. There we go. Really? Why the fuck not? Ready, it's because of this stupid fault thing thing. Right. Sherman moving up. Hopefully the road that we've mined will be somewhat beneficial. That's a T26. The quad mount. Fucking knew it. Watch the right side. That's enemy armor. Target destroyed. That one defender with Ranger with a sodding rifle, GG. Awaiting orders, sir. Oh boy. That's a lot of dudes. My God. Well, this is a correct depiction. Uh, this could be considered as the correct depiction of uh, the D Day. Uh, guys, there's a giant fuck off tank right in front of us. That's a death gun. Jesus Christ. That's a full on massacre. Of course. Right. Ready to roll, sir. Ready. Yeah, I got about enough. Waiting orders, sir. Identify target. I'm ready. Nice. Oh, that's a big gun.
Right, he's gone. That's the 76 mil. That quad's doing its job. to knock out that 75 mil. Like, they're firing from that hedgerow somewhere. Not quite. Something's there. Fuck you. Rock and load, that's a tank. That's a cannon. Oh, bloody hell. Come on. Yeah, ditch, 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 ditch. Yeah, Sherman's out of action. We gotta try and be as quick as we can. Shit, we lost the quad. That's really not good. The quad really could have helped there. Right, run. Not good. Son of a bitch. Come on. Reverse. Come on. Ugh, fucking hell. An entire Sherman lost. Go, go, go. Yeah, no fucking chance. Order, Turn the goddamn gun in the right fucking direction. I was trying to get the fuck away from those sodding AT guns, uh, AT grenades. 
completely lost the left side. Ditch. Are you fucking for real? Yes, sir. What are your orders, sir? Get the the Sherman, get, Sherman crew, get the fuck inside. We don't have any any kind of anti tank whatsoever. Oh fucking hell! Right, that seventy-five mil coming handy. Good. Mines are doing something. Right. We've got to try. Seize back the initiative and stop those fuckers from being able to do damage to... Okay. Really didn't need that victory thing to come interrupting. Sherman isn't completely lost, but we certainly have lost a lot of dudes today. We need to knock out that artillery, though. Oh shit! Rounds incoming. Yeah, that's why. I can't even see where the fuck those assholes are. Where's the fucking gun? Fuck you, Ivan scum. Jesus Christ, okay. Always ready. Somehow this four crew survived, which is a miracle. Sherman, withdraw, you guys, yeah. Quad mount is lost, completely. They died fighting gloriously, but unfortunately, ready to go, sir. we took a casualty, ready, sir. which really, really fucking sucks. Luckily, the Shermans that we did lose are salvageable. But, yeah. Uh, I think even... Uh, no. Surprisingly... Medic standing by. Yeah, surprisingly, that truck is fixable, which is good. Ready to go, sir. Ready to go, sir. The half-track is fixable. I'll have you fix up some of the enemy's VIX. Primarily the tank, so we can sell them off. Because we're going to need to Aye, spend a bit of money now. <laughs> we really need to spend a bit of money now. Enemy tank here. I'm ready. Right. Armor ready. We're ready. Tanks, take cover! I get the sense that we took some damage from those guys as well. But yeah, so, well... 
I'll wrap up. Well, I'll, I'll cut recording whilst we salvage what's left of the enemy force. And I will see you guys when we return. And we return. So, not that long, thankfully. I spread out a number of the mechanical guys to go fix the Shermans. Again, luckily, the Shermans were fixable. And it was just the Russian... It was just uh, a few of the other bits and pieces that we lost. But we still... It was close call. It was a close run thing. I think it goes to show the dangers of these hedgerows. Because the enemy can basically camp in a spot... And completely new to our position without even so much as blinking an eye and not being spotted. So. There we go. Fantastic. And we got a pretty decent amount of rewards for it as well. So I am happy with that. Beauty. Right. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we did lose. Right, so... We did capture a 107 artillery piece, which is quite an accurate piece of kit. So, that is something to take into account when it comes to using it in the future we could use it as a form of it's, it's a free artillery effectively but if we have a look here right the next thing i think we'll need is i want to say yes to that because then we can start moving hmm. yes i think it's the, i think we need to get to that point where we're using this so We've got the 105 located on our, on our track, and then we have two, so we want to go down the... We don't quite have enough for that, which is fine. So, what if instead we go... Ah, we could, if we had three... Or we could just use that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> And then, wait a second, recon team, engineer squad. Oh, is that like an engineer squad with a thing on the top as well? Lol. Oh, we just need the M3 half track and then, oh, so we actually get a better version of that. Huh. Intriguing. Anyway. Nothing else we can really unlock, is there? Well, we've got the M13. Which is a kind of half upgrade. Kind of. Right, so we've got that. Which in a sense makes this completely null and void. So... And then if we resupply all. As I said, we lost access to that, which is a real shame. We do now finally have access to medium artillery barrage. Which I think is a really good option. Because it means we get the ability to throw some shit at the enemy without being able to get slapped back, which I appreciate. We'll put back the... There we go. We'll put back the two 105s over to there. The M4 lates, we're just going to have to just deal with the fact that they don't have as much things. Over here, we shall have... Uh... Okay, so that's a 12. That's only a double, and that's a 12. Okay. We're going to have our collective artillery cake and eat it. This is not cheap under any circumstances, which is kind of bad when you think about it, but hey-ho. Uh, do we get another one? Do we get two? Would two be a bit too much? Or would it make more sense to have more tanks? Or would it be better to have more infantry? Because two squads of infantry might not be enough. I mean, we could effectively have two of those, but I think what might make more sense is a new medic squad. Actually, to be fair, I could probably put those in a... Yeah, I'll put that in the second detachment, third detachment. And I'll set up another engineer squad. We'll get another... Another M3A1 half-track. 
we still have enough for another tank. So I'm thinking another M4 late. And if only this was 20, this would be beautiful. But it's not, because fuck my life, I guess. Uh, right, so we're still 20, we're 20. We're 20 points down, and it's a little bit annoying. That's 100, that's 78. <sighs> Half track with that. I mean, we could... I mean, we have access to the M5A1, so theoretically speaking, we could send the M5A1 as part of a reconnaissance detachment. But it's only got a little shitty... Um, well, it's not really much of a... Like, the kind of tank we're using... Well, the kind of thing we're using that for is either reconnaissance, but the thing is, that it's a lot of... You know what? Fuck it. We'll try it. M5A1, Stuart. Late. Because the late has something special. No, so what makes this special? Except that I can't use it. <laughs> because it's the same fuck. Why is this the same as this? That doesn't make any sodding sense. Oh, God. So I have to choose a shitty little M3A1. Fuck it, M3A1. You're our new reconnaissance. <sighs> right, anyway, we will... I'll catch you guys when we go into the... I think I'll wrap this one up a little early, actually, on this one. So, we've got a new detachment now. And we've got ourselves a pretty decent defense. So, yeah, I I'm probably going to call it on this one. It's a bit of a shorter episode, but I think this is going to be a good place to wrap things up. So, we've now got four call... Now call it... Look at that. Now have four call-in stages. We're quite mechanized as armies go. We've got our first priest... And we've now got artillery. So I'd say this is looking to be a pretty decent kind of combat for the next mission. So I look forward to seeing you guys there. This is Misty Eggers signing out. Have a good one, guys.